All right, guys, how is it going? So I've just seen this post by Fabrizio Romano. Mo Salah! Him. If you don't know why I do that, watch today's morning briefing. Anyway, it's not a recent post. I think it might even have been from yesterday. But I was just browsing Facebook. I can't stand Facebook, mate, to be honest with you. And I noticed this post by him. Uh, and he was talking about Tiago Motta, right? Now, that is one of the names that's been mentioned... Now, I wasn't going to say the word considered, but like, when you say considered, what strength is that? You know, like, so if we say uh, Liverpool have considered Thiago Motta, do they mean they've gone like, what do you think about Thiago Motta? Uh, ah, yeah, you're right, thank you. Because that's considered, right? Or did they sit there and consider it? Do you, do you get me drift? Like, when people say someone's being considered, we don't know the level of, or the extension of how much time they've put into the consideration. Do you get me drift? So I've not really thought too much about him. Some of you guys have come on the streams and put forward his name. Now, we all know that Ruben Amorim is the main candidate at the moment, right? I don't see anyone challenging him at the moment, to be honest. I don't see uh, De Zerbi being in there. Uh, we've had, um, who was it that came out and, and, oh, it was David Ornstein, wasn't it, that basically said, uh, highly unlikely. Uh, and Fabrizio Romano, I'm not going to shout it again, Fabrizio Romano also saying something similar. So then it's like, well, who challenges Ruben Amorim now? You know, like Nagelsmann, maybe? Anyway, but Thiago Motta is one of the names that we saw. I'm sure I did a video about this two, three days ago, maybe over the weekend. There were some new names that came into, uh, into I don't want to say the running. Again, it's like, is it the running? Are they really in the running or are they just being mentioned? Like, do you know what I mean? It's really difficult to, to try and work out how much consideration... Um, you know, the people involved in this process are giving these candidates. But Motta's name is one of them. Now, what, what's interesting I find about this, which is right up FSG Street, so you could see why he was being considered. This is exactly what Romano said. He's put Thiago Motta's doing an insane job at Bologna as they are fourth in Serie A and only two points away from Juventus. Former PSG manager completed six name wins, nine draws and only five defeats. 44 goals scored and 25 con uh, conceded. Forget all that, right? Forget all that. We know that it's data-driven, right? The uh, the main thing, you know, behind the manager, we, we've heard this a lot, haven't we? Data-driven appointment, you know, not an, not an emotional appointment. Alonso, for example, but data-driven, even though, in all fairness, Alonso's got the data. But data doesn't necessarily mean just, uh, you know, wins you know, ratios and things like that. It's the next bit that interests me, and it's just something that I wanted to bring to your attention. Bologna's wage bill, 31.2 million euros, right? 31.2 uh, million euros, which is 13th uh, in that league, I guess. Um, Juventus's wage bill, 120 million First, right, so they're the big spenders, right? So if you think about it, Bologna are fourth in Syria and only two points away from Juventus, right? Two points off Juventus, yet Juventus has spent 120 million on the wage bill, Bologna 31. And I don't know, I just thought straight away, when I looked at that, I thought, yeah, that's got FSG written all over it, man. Do you know what I mean? So I just thought I'd throw it out there. Uh, Fabrizio Romano says, fantastic work, fantastic. Fantastic manager. Um, so, I'm not trying to for one minute suggest that he's under consideration. Oh, God, here we go, under consideration. Um, we know that he's one of those names that uh, has, has um, been discussed internally at Liverpool. Um, but I mentioned this on a stream earlier today. You know, we've had the Alonso and Amarim right from the off, really. Would you not agree? And then I think you fall down into, like, Another area where you might even say Deserby, Nagelsmann, people like that. Pep Linder's still in the betting. Uh, third favourite, uh, we bet 365. Um, because I think Nagelsmann and Deserby were joint second favourite. Uh, but Pep's still in there. But, and then I think you have this other block uh, of names like him at Bologna, Motta. Um, but I think if we start to see their names mentioned with us more, uh, I think that's a worrying sign. I really do. Um, 
and the I don't know the more you start to worry and think oh god the more you could imagine Pep Linders being considered but but anything to do with Pep Linders being considered I think was stronger prior to Michael Edwards return I, I don't see it under Michael Edwards I don't know what you think just to be uh, very uh, clear here Fabrizio Romano wasn't talking about Liverpool Football Club here he was just putting you know making a a point that um, Motta's doing very good, insane job at Bologna. Uh, so some of, some of you might not follow that league, you know, and might be wondering, well, why is he being linked with us? Why is he, why is he being mentioned with us? Well, he's obviously doing a very good job on a very small wage bill, 13th in the entire division. Uh, and you could see that that's uh, something that um, would be attractive to the owners. I don't think I've done a very good video here, to be honest with you, but... I'm in the middle of watching a murder trial, to be honest. The Wisconsin River Stabbings. It's live from Wisconsin. I've got loads of friends out there in Wisconsin. Uh, and I do like to watch me, uh, me live trials and that, as you know. And I, like I say, I was just browsing. I was like, ah, that's interesting to know. So I thought I'd share it with you. All right. Uh, if you appreciate the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please drop me a comment. And if you want to get me a coffee or a beer, hit that super thanks button. Right, guys, I don't think I'll be back tonight. Well, I don't know. You never know. Oh, don't forget. Um, what time are we at? All right, yeah. Sporting uh, a plane. Ruben Amarim signed a plane tonight. So uh, you might see some coats. Uh, co coats. <laughs> okay. You might see some jackets and barkers come out. No, you might see some quotes come out later. Because, uh, you know, after the game, you know, they might start saying, hey, what's, what, what about this transfer link? Uh, not Oh, do you know what? I'm not. I'm just. I, I must be tired. Or you know what I mean. There might be some hammering quotes overnight. See you. See you tomorrow.